Hi, in this video, we're going to be getting this Mercedes 48 volt hybrid started up after it's been involved in a crash. There's a couple things we need to do, so let's get into it. So first off, we're going to be removing the 48 volt battery, which is located in the top right corner of the engine bay on this model. The battery will store crash data if it detects an impact. This will lead to the power being shut off as a safety feature. Once the battery has been removed, we can start to disassemble it. We need to gain access to the module which stores the data on, which is located inside the case. Nine times out of 10, depending how long the vehicle has been stood for, the battery will also be under voltage, so we will also be required to charge it back to 48 volts. If your vehicle hasn't been in a crash, but has been stood a while, this will also cause the battery to shut down if the voltage has dropped below a certain threshold. This also can be repaired, and it's the exact same process. With the battery removed, we can now gain access to the module and remove it. Time to remove the crash data. We just have to read the EEPROM, clear the crash, and then write it back to the EEPROM. Now that is finished, we can solder the EEPROM back onto the module, give it a clean, and we're ready to build the battery back up. Here, we'll be doing the exact same as before, just in reverse. The battery cells have been charged back up to 48 volts. The crash has been cleared, and we're almost ready to install it back into the car. Now it's time to install it back into the car. This can be a bit tricky. There are coolant pipes running to the battery which need to be reconnected. Once they're all connected, it's just a case of bolting down the bracket at the bottom and connecting the power cables back up. Always remember to disconnect the 12 volt battery before. Now it's time to replace the pyro fuse. If your vehicle hasn't been involved in an accident, you don't need to worry about this. 
This is also a safety feature on many cars today. It will stop power running from the 12 volt battery to the car. This also needs to be replaced in order to get the car started again after an impact has been detected. We can see on this model, it's located underneath the glove box inside a little box. But most of the time on other vehicles, it's located next to the 12 volt battery. Now the pyro fuse has been replaced, it's almost time to start the car. You also have to run some diagnostics tests beforehand. After that the vehicle will start up.